you join me today after another substantial drop here on Bitcoin. So in today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, I am going to be going over the reasons for this rejection, why we are seeing a bounce right now, and my targets going into the next two weeks. So I hope you, that you thoroughly enjoy this. You are very well. And uh, yeah, let's begin here with the analysis. Uh, so firstly, I would like to explain the reason why we saw this rejection, okay? And this is a requirement to go out to a larger term time frame because obviously, if you woke up this morning and you had just seen this massive green candle um you know it's very easy to lose perspective of where you are in the grand scheme of things okay uh, so I will show you now why we got rejected. Obviously, looking at the five minute is not going to answer it. Okay, you have to come out to the monthly. This is our monthly level. Okay, that's been for a very long time. So we'll come out to the monthly, and you can see here ten thousand three hundred and nineteen is that monthly level. Okay, and now just look how perfectly it's been respected over the last two months. Okay, you can just see here, literally so so nice support. Okay, broken support, support, lost resistance, reclaimed support, support resistance and resistance again okay so you can see we had that really really pivotal level of 10,300 okay as a resistance you also have you can see here on my fib balls low high to low gave us our one-to-one -one extension at also 10,300 so you're starting to see a confluence of reasons at 10.3 Okay, and then on the 15 minute, you're going to see uh, possibly one of the nicest that you can also see it ended up with a swing failure pattern, obviously taking out the high of this move by a wick. Okay, so you wicked above the level, rejection, 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 and obviously you just, well, uh, don't beat yourself up. <laughs> don't beat yourself up if you if you miss this because this is a six hundred dollar move in a matter of minutes, like literally one minute, and you're it's down six hundred dollars. That was a very 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 um, you know you can't predict that sort of move. Okay, you literally can't predict the extreme of that move so quickly because obviously you would have expected uh, some bounces on the way down. Uh, it's very rare that something just goes straight up like this and straight down. But w welcome to crypto. <laughs> you know you don't see this sort of action on the stock market, but you know crypto is pretty unique. Uh, so for good and bad reasons, you know, looking at that 9.8, you would have expected there to be some form of reaction between the 0 0.5, given this area, and a 0.618, but, uh, you know, you look at it on the one minute, and it was just a straight flush through, so, um, you know, understandable that, you know, yeah, if you had pre-orders set, that, that obviously would have just stopped you out, and that's not the end of the day, um, Obviously, uh, yeah, so that obviously gave us our resistance. As I wrote to my group last night, I was, so this was yesterday at 10 a.m. of, of 10 p.m., obviously prior to uh, the move. I was already looking for shorts up to 10,300, and uh, that was last night. And then this morning, I obviously uh, got woke up and uh, <laughs> nicely, I guess, got filled into that 10,300. So I got ended up with a big short on 10.3. Uh, did I expect to see a massive move to the downside? No, I did not. And I was still net long, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that just goes to show why you want to be like into these hedge positions. As I was writing, I'm sure I wrote, yeah, like a hedge for that monthly level. It was just such a big level. You just want to have a little bit of uh, care on it. OK, um, so now on the flip side, where have we just bounced from? We've literally gone from monthly to monthly you can see that there's like you know a region of like ten dollars to the bottom here uh 19 to the top and you have to view it as a region this exact line is there's a little region around it okay so you can see here coming down to let's go turn on to the five minute okay uh what i liked about this is you had the three three run patterns so low stop stops three lows and then a bounce okay you have not really had a great follow through but nevertheless a two percent bounce here okay off of that monthly so now we come back out to the one hourly chart and what you can see is literally a monthly to monthly play right there okay so that where does this leave us in the grand scheme of things okay we have to be viewing this really uh on the daily on the daily and what we can say is we are in downtrending in the daily now low lo well obviously our original move lower high lower low potential lower high potential lower low to come okay obviously a bullish scenario is that currently it is still holding a higher low but obviously to to have any significance in this at all you want to take the high at uh, basically 11,200 so 11,200 is, is a massive resistance but uh, you can just see that 10.3 looks even nicer on the three day by the way that 10.3 is just a, a massive, massive resistance level. Okay, it's not impossible to get through, but one would say that the probabilities of getting there uh, have obviously uh, downwards turned off of that uh, rejection that we saw last night. Okay, so where does that leave us in the grand scheme of things? Okay, uh, just to be aware, I am going to away away to Switzerland, uh, so I will not be actively making any videos, um, maybe for something for my mobile, but won't be making any real technical analysis for the next few weeks. So this gives me a perspective of what I'm looking for. Okay. 
To the downside, I would like to acknowledge that obviously we have these daily gaps on the futures charts. Okay, sorry if this is a bit of a mess. Let me just delete this a second. Okay, actually, let me keep that back. So the futures gap is obviously between 8,985 and 8,515. I think that this is a level, in my personal opinion, a level that so many people are looking to long just like everybody was looking to short 6k you can obviously see how we gapped up through that level <laughs> only to get it filled but nevertheless we still gapped up really through 6,000 totally okay prior uh, you know a bit of rejection prior to it and with everybody looking to short that level you obviously smash straight through it you could see the scenario with everybody looking to long this level um potential going just straight through it or never hitting okay i, th I think this is a is a a, a good well placed sort of region Everybody looks to long a level you either smash straight through <laughs> or just never reach it. Um, so that is one scenario that I have uh, have an eye on, okay? But as I always say, as a trader, you shouldn't really be focused too much on predictions. It's more being able to react to price as it's happening, okay? So that's uh, like a really important thing to note. But uh, nevertheless, let's come back to the uh, BitMEX chart over here. Okay, so on the shorter term, we have to be pulling this for the 382. Okay, have to be looking at that resistance six nine thousand six hundred and fifty, which does also con you know coincide with all of this old support that is going to potentially flip to resistance as well. So that nine six level up to nine seven is just a really crucial resistance region. Okay, obviously uh, bulls are going to want to reclaim that to move higher. Uh, you know, the only real factor that they do have at the moment is that there is a, a potential lower high. So this pivot right here, ten uh, nine thousand and eighty nine thousand and eighty is a crucial support. Okay. So you're really in a, in a nice region here, 9,080, really crucial support. And then we're looking really back at uh, just say 9.7 as a crucial resistance. And then in a, in a title range um, where, you know, you can't go wrong, just sat uh, a flat currently waiting for one of those ranges to break. You do not need to be in a trade 24-7, okay? And uh, yeah, I would more, <laughs> I'm quite glad I'm going away because I would, um, yeah, this, this is a bit of a 50-50 region. It does feel a little bit like gambling taking a position right here. I would much prefer, much prefer um, to wait for either a reclaim of that support or a loss of that resistance uh, before, you know, well, I'm already in a position. <laughs> but, um, you know, if I wasn't in a position, well, that's what I'd be waiting for. A bit of, uh, you know, a, at least, a, you know, that form of confirmation of a reclaim of support or resistance uh, prior to taking my next position. Although I'm already in it. So uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed that update on Bitcoin here. Uh, the levels that I'm looking for in the short and medium term, obviously in the medium uh, term resistances, um, well, the supports I've already covered to the downside there, 8277. You know, if we actually go ahead to the downside, we lose this 98 pivot. Uh, sorry, 9000 pivot now, really. 9000 pivot, let me mute that a second. If we lose 9000, well, I'm really going to be looking towards 7700 to 7400. Obviously, our old block of support right here. Uh, and if uh, over the next few weeks, we actually, in fact, hold up holding up 9000, um, which at the moment seems surprising. But you can never again, like I said, it's not about predicting. It's about reacting. If we do hold that level, then you have to be looking really up towards that 11.4 weekly level uh, if you manage to get through that 10.3. So, yeah, that's sort of my targets what I'm looking for over the next week or so. Um, well, while I'm away, I'll, I will be keeping still an eye on the price, obviously. Uh, but obviously, yeah, totally, totally scaled back my trading because I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to be in the mountains. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I won't be able to get really get much connection out there, I wouldn't imagine. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And obviously, yeah, that's this is, uh, you know, pause the screen and read this. And this is what you want to be looking for when it comes to being a profitable trader. It's it's not like, like this guy, you know, I like this comment that this guy said, a good trader is not the one who predicts the price action, but the one who can react accordingly to the price action. And what we're doing here is obviously reacting. So I have already taken a few sculpts this morning, okay? First one was expecting this second, you know, continuation of the of the retrace. Okay, you got the retracement onto the onto the monthly, where I did enter into a scalp long. Okay, up to the resistance, and now we are just in a in such a tight range here. This is is not even for me a scalping range. Okay, the scalp was offered a monthly, and now that's being tested. So um, yeah, there's a little opportunity here. Obviously on Bitcoin, you do have obviously phantom and basic attention token, basic attention token moving today. Uh, but yeah, there's there's little opportunity in the grand scheme of things here uh, until we get some more resolution. So I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Um, 
If you have, I would really appreciate a like uh, and a comment down below of how are you looking at this? Are you under the perspective that this is a wave two coming in? one two and a third is to come or and are you under the perspective now that this has ended up being a five three and five waves to the downside to come okay uh i would be very interested to know your opinion are you looking to reclaim some higher levels and looking at this as a really good opportunity to be a bull or are you now after that rejection switch biases and looking this very bearishly and expecting lower prices to come what are your targets very interested to see uh while i'm away i will obviously read through them all and uh yeah reply to some of my favorite uh, predictions so yeah thank you everybody for watching today and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next video have a brilliant time and uh yeah thank you so much cheers thank you bye